So it is the end of another month. We have goal setting for March to be done, and this is where things start to get embarrassing. I will take the time a little bit to uh, preface beforehand. Not a lot of these goals from last month, which we'll get to at the end of this video, were completed. But one thing that I've learned to do in my I mean, golly, how long have I been doing goal setting, extensive goal setting? Uh, probably over 15 years for sure. One of the things that I have learned in having myriad goals is that when I break my life down into different sections like this, there will almost undoubtedly be times where I have not set goals in one particular aspect of life that are very aspirational. But it will be in that area of life where opportunity becomes apparent. And when opportunity is apparent, you double down on goals for that part of life. Uh, for example, setting aggressive fitness goals during the summer. It's easier to get fitness goals finished during the summer. It just is. It's easier to motivate yourself. It's easier to be up extra hours. All of these things. So one of the areas of my life that does not appear in these videos is a separate creative project that I have that I'm working on. And I had some breakthroughs there and I was really aggressive with that stuff this month. So this stuff sort of failed. So for March, what am I hoping to do? 35 miles, not very aggressive, but it is more miles than there are days in the month. I will have to average more than one mile per day. It's not as aggressive as I will be in the summer where I am averaging multiple miles every day. Um, but it is easier to ease back into that type of shape this way. Five trips to the gym, figure out weight. I still did not get my gym membership figured out. It is difficult because the guy who's there in the mornings does not, uh, what do they say, <clears throat> know anything. He doesn't know anything. So because my card changed, he last time this happened, he was not able to update my membership. It's not even worth going in. I'll have to wait until late, very late for me sometime working overnight. It's probably 10 o'clock. I will have to go at 10 o'clock. Um, Sub 10 minute mile, sub 10 minute mile, sub 9, sub 9, sub 9, sub 9, and a couple of sub 8 minute miles. These are goals, um, not necessarily aggressive, but just easing back into, I want to get into more running this summer as opposed to just walking all the time. Uh, running, for, for one thing, what it does is running is going to speed up the process. Now, that sounds pathetic, but when you're walking miles as opposed to running, you, you sort of factor in 15 to 20 minute miles. If you can average 10 minute miles instead of 20 minute miles, you're knocking off half the time. So 100 miles uh, taking half the time that it would have taken me last summer allows me to really expand into the creative goals even more. And then once again, I want to get back into touching medium weights like bench 250, squat 250, deadlift 315. Not aggressive weights, not big weights, uh, but just getting back into that swing of things. I want to, so these moving forward are my writer's life goals. Type 20 pages. Didn't do any typing. I found my notebooks, the notebooks in which I had uh, composed the novel that I was writing. Didn't do any type of typing last month. I want to do two days of Biff. Biff is the next novel on which I am working. Uh, Biff is a project I am doing that will hopefully, hopefully be a little bit more fun, I think, than the projects I normally work on. I want to write, or I want to finish two short stories. I finished one short story this month, I believe, or it might have been the tail end of January. I can't remember just off the top of my head. Uh, I want to write four poems, which would be one per week and a flash fiction. 
and I want to brainstorm BML. BML is a short story that I have been meaning to write for four years now, for four or five years now. And it has eluded me. It is something that I don't have the tools to write yet. It is something for which I will have to do a little bit of research. And it is something that I'm really going to have to put myself in a different, different mental space for. These are the goals for this channel. Um, five videos. I want to pump out five videos. I have a response video to a comment that I got this, pa this past month. Uh, that I will take as an argument in good faith, though I believe maybe perhaps perhaps I should not. But I will take it in good faith and go from there. I want to figure out two more editing tools. I figured out one editing tool that has really helped me so far this month. I am hoping to figure out two editing tools. If anyone knows any neat, time-saving, or impressive tricks to use in clip champs, let me know. If you know anything for uh, audio tonic, let me know. Uh, any type of any type of tools or widgets that I could use in either of those clip champs or audio tonic would really help me out on a week by week basis here creating. Um, <clears throat> One thousand words on an essay called American Dark Age. 500 words on an essay called about the American dream. I think the American dream is a little bit misunderstood, um, at least by myself. From what I thought it was, I had a revelation sort of about what it really is. 500 words on nihilism. Now, I had a video on nihilism this month, but I want to do something uh, more extensive than that, uh, a much more in-depth defense of nihilism. But that video was very helpful, I think, in the ex exploration stage for the video that I want to do. 500 words on Black Widow. There is a very extreme type of irony to the Black Widow movie from Marvel. It is much more likely that I will be able to do that video this month because I am probably going to sign back up for Disney Plus because I believe Mandalorian, the third season of Mandalorian, starts this month. Uh, in March, I, I mean. I don't want to miss the season of Mandalorian, but I am considering not watching it just out of protest for the garbage that Disney's Marvel has become. I'm not. A, I understand Disney's Star Wars has become garbage. I am not a Star Wars guy, so I am not as able to really differentiate there. There are a couple things that people panned pretty universally for the Disney Star Wars that I sort of had fun with on the Disney Plus side of things. The movies. The movies were, were awful. Um, people are saying that the Disney shows have been just as bad. I did not think they were uh, just as bad as those. But I can understand if it was if you were incensed as a fan. Record Disney script. Again, I have probably a 3,000 to 5,000 word script on the uh, written on Disney that I need to... I really need to sit down, and I, I, this is one of the ones that I want to start having uh, more visual stuff with, not just a static screen. So, moving on from this, financial goals, finish $100 below budget. That's pretty standard for me. I aim to do that. Uh, make one investment. I do. I make an investment, I say every month, almost every month, and we'll get to that a little bit later. Add one ticker to my watch list. I want to read 400 pages. That's a pretty good average uh, per day there. Fairy tale. This, so these are strip cover lit goals. For anyone who doesn't know, I run strip cover lit, a uh, book, short story, and poetry review channel. Fairy tale 28, fairy tale 29, 30, 31, and 32. This would finish the chapters of the book. I believe there is an epilogue for the book that I will make a short video on, probably. And it is important that I do not miss any of those because that syncs up perfectly with April. April being the beginning of April being poetry, National Poetry Month. In National Poetry Month over on Strip Coverlet, I do a poetry discussion every day. So it is important for me that I do not miss any of these chapter uploads for Fairy Tale. 
Um, the review will take me a little bit of time to weasel my way through. I have a different type of format I want to do for that. I want to make it more appealing to watch. So instead of just uh, my fat butt sitting here at this desk, it will be other things. There will be other things, pardon me, involved. So hopefully finishing that reading before National Poetry Month will allow me the work schedule needed to zip through National Poetry Month. Now, you notice here, there are four poetry discussions, meaning there are five total. There are four Mondays in the month. I need to start getting ahead for poetry, National Poetry Month. National Poetry Month, 30 poetry discussions in 30 days is difficult work. If I do not get at least a little bit ahead on that, it is likely that I will fail. I do not want to fail. This will be my third National Poetry Month over there on Strip Coverlet, and I have yet to fail on those uploads. So I'm not going to. And I need, if that is the case, if that is to be the case, I need to get a little bit of a lead this month. So five should be the minimum number of poetry discussions that I aim for this month. I want to get a writer's quote. I missed my writer's quote. Um, well, I'll get to that in the, in the next part. But um, I pushed back a couple of the fairy tale uploads. And it, it forced me out of a writer's quote. So I've got one in the barrel still. Or I've got one in the chamber still. A uh, short story discussion. I want to continue doing at least one short story discussion per month. That is going to add on to the reading requirements. So this 400 pages is absolutely necessary to get there. You may notice this. Emily Dickinson AI video is absent from this month's goals. We are finishing this month's goals, the ones that I'm sharing publicly, with Finnish Poe AI and Finnish Bukowski AI. Finnish, um, the AI videos that I am creating with the Wonder app for YouTube for the, uh, Edgar Allan Poe and Charles Bukowski. The Emily Dickinson video is through, and it was a, it was it was an eye-opening event making that video. Just some wild stuff going on. So a little bit of so I I hope you are comfortable sharing some of your goals with me in the comment section. We're going to get into last month's goals and how I did with them, which this should say February. But it's a header, so it's not going to do that. 30 miles, I am on pace to just about get that done. I believe that is going to get done. None of this stuff. None of that. All garbage. All done. None of this. None of this. I believe I finished a short story. I got a poem. So I'm two short stories, two poems, and a flash fiction short. Now, the in the for the short stories here in my writer's life portion of this, I am very close with two different short stories. It is It helps me sometimes to work on multiple projects at once, especially coming out of the 14-month process that was the last novel I did. So working on those multiple stories at once slows me down in, the, in finishing them, but allows me different places to put um, some mental miles in. Uh, so for this channel, I was actually pretty proud of the month we had on this channel. We had the video on nihilism, which I thought was um, was good work for me, good practice for me towards this video here, even though I didn't get to this video here. We had the... What did we have? One second here. We had the Lost Technology video, which went over very well. There were quite a few of you, maybe, here that were here from that. Oh, yeah. There's this video, which I will be making a, a monthly part of the channel. But there was also a video on the AI wars. I was pretty proud of that video as well. I thought that it was 
eye-opening for me to get through that and writing the script for it while producing the AI images which are in the video. So in addition to essentially none of this column being done, I only got four videos, I only figured out one editing tool, and none of this got done. I am on pace to finish $100 below my budget. That is good. I have yet to make an investment, I believe, and famous last words, I know. I believe we are in a bubble. I believe that in the market, we are going to be going back to prices that were around in December, maybe. I don't think that we're going to keep on this uptrend. It is very risky for me to be making that assumption because I one of the, one of the positions I need to round out is my position in Tesla. Tesla is extremely volatile and extremely unpredictable. There is a uh, an investment day, the beginning of March, March 1st, I believe, that w might make or break this, uh, my position here and what it is that I am waiting for. I need to, I'm going to overinvest uh, because overinvesting by a couple hundred dollars is going to round out the position at this point. But Oftentimes, you will note with Tesla, when there is an investor day, when there is a product unveil, when there is a an earnings day, instead of, no matter how the event turns out, instead of spiking the stock, Tesla is very much a buy the rumor, sell the news type of stock. So in the wake of these events, oftentimes, Tesla will go down between 3 and 7%. I am banking on that happening. I'm also banking on us being in a mini bubble as we climb back up in the market. If that is the case, probably I will be able to nab these shares in the 170s as opposed to right around 200 where it is now or huh. the 220s, which it could go to. Add one ticker to my watch list. I did that. I added Unilever, which was... It's a very, it's a standard dividend paying type of company. It is one that I need to start um, keeping closer tabs on. I will let you guys into some of the secret sauce with what I'm doing with my internet monies. My internet monies are broken down into four different categories. I put 25% of my internet money into savings, 25% of my internet money into investments. And what I'm doing with the investments portion is I am only buying dividend paying stocks with the internet money portion of my investments. I don't only invest in internet based or in dividend paying stocks. You would intuit that from the fact that I just talked about investing in Tesla, but investing 25% of my internet money into dividend paying stocks, dividends are a cash stream, turns my inter part of my internet money into cash flow money. So it is doubling down on the prospect that maybe someday this whole thing uh, could be what I do for a living. I have a number of what I would have to get to um, in alternative revenue streams for that to make sense. 25% of the internet money goes towards spending. Uh, I normally just invested in food so that the other monies get uh, saved. And then 25% of it goes to reinvesting in the business. And this is all new. I, I used to not, this is all, this is going to be the second month that I've done this. I used to not do anything with the internet stuff. It just built up. Uh, that, is, that will no longer be the case. 400 pages I probably got about half of that, maybe a little bit more because of the uh, because of fairy tale. I uh, got all one, two, three, four, all four fairy tale chapters uploaded, but two of them were a day late. Poetry discussions. I did dark pines underwater. I did the soul select her own society. I did waiting for the barbarians. Dark pines underwater and waiting for the barbarians were suggested by viewers. If you have any poetry suggestions for me. 
uh, I am going to be doing quite a few poetry discussion videos, so I will need suggestions if I am to get through those unscathed. I have one more to do this month, which is an Emily Dickinson poem I have never read before. Something about the devil, I don't remember the title precisely. There is no title. I don't remember the first line precisely. Um, so I'll get through that tomorrow after work. And then hopefully in the next couple days, I can squeeze one extra in. It is currently the 25th of February. Tomorrow will be the 26th. If I can get one done on the 27th or the 28th, that would be grand. Emily Dickinson AI video, I got that done. Poe AI video, I'm working on it. I'm also working on a Bukowski video, so there is some space in there. I, I'm working on one that I did not set the goal for. It was just something that popped up. I decided to do one, see what it did, and I liked the results, so I'm, I'm working my way through that as well. Uh, short story discussion and writer's quote, no. No, I didn't do that. I spent, like I said, inordinate amounts of time this month working on goals extraneous to this that were, I did not have aggressive goals set in that portion of life, but when something pops, um, you sort of owe it to yourself to really double down on it. And I made some progress with it, so doubling down on it is something that I needed to really uh, take care of and really go through with because the sooner I can get all of these creative endeavors really in flow, the sooner I can hopefully make this internet stuffs a bigger portion of my work right now. Like I say, I'm working 40 to 50 hours a week. So doing that, plus trying to stay in shape, plus trying to be an actual writer, plus trying to make a second career here uh, with this type of stuff is difficult. It weighs on you. And um, opening up all of those valves at once is difficult. So yeah, that is my February sort of wrap up. And the goal setting for March I hope that you feel comfortable enough to share some of your goals for March with me in the comments section. And I hope that if you are as brutally honest with yourself uh, as I can be at times, uh, you will share some of the ways you failed this month with me as I have opened up and shared some of the ways that I have failed here on this channel as well. Again, I am hoping to make the video essay stuff a much bigger part of this channel. Just a little inside baseball stuff. I am considering starting a different channel for the movie reviews and stuff that I'm doing. Uh, I'm not sure exactly. I'm not sure the timeline on that. I just don't feel, I don't really feel like making that pop culture stuff part of this channel anymore, but I think that there is a place for it, and I just don't think it's here. So I got to figure out what I'm doing with that, and if I can figure that part out, uh, I will definitely let that be known on here and on Strip Coverlet as well. Thank you for being here. If you appreciate what I do, it really does me a good bit of help. If you decide to hit that like button at some point in time, because it lets YouTube know to share this with other people, and I hope to have you back for the next video.